Hey everyone, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's Friday Love Oracle message. I'm going to quickly clear the area. I should say space energy. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong part of the camera. <laughs> I think it's going to take time getting used to. I hope you are all having a beautiful Friday wherever you are in the world. And I hope this message can bring some peace, some joy, and love to you, whether that is self or or in relation to others and remember these Friday Oracle messages they don't have to just always be about romantic love though it can pop up I'm a, a huge advocate of self-love and loving yourself first because when you can put yourself on that pedestal and always lift, lift yourself up it dramatically changes the way you interact with others and also in the relationship you have with others and the love that you share and partake so let's get started because you guys know I can keep blabbing on. I did not shuffle these, so I'm gonna shuffle. I live in an apartment and anytime I sage my home, you can see it right there, the smoke. It fills the entire area up completely, everything. <laughs> and I literally don't even have to light the whole thing, just a smidge of a leaf and it keeps going. Usually I take it outside. Okay. And again, I'm a little bit different than some other readers. I actually only allow the cards to fall and one did. So I'm going to shuffle. I have three decks out and I'm going to have all the cards selected and then we're going to turn them over and see. I cannot believe we are already in spring, right? 2022. A third of the way into the year. I just feel like we just started the new year. At least for me, I don't know about you all, but 2022 just started off like 2021, like a continuation. I already see it's two minutes in and I still haven't gotten to the reading itself. So I will do my best to remember to shuffle the cards beforehand to save time. Okay, we're on the last deck. <laughs> Note to self, shuffle next time. I appreciate your patience if you're still with me here. If you haven't clicked off and you're like, Christine, it's almost two and a half minutes and we still haven't gotten to the first card. Two are selected. What messages do we have for today? Shit, there's two. Okay. Ooh. So first card I got was sensuality. Completely taps into the Taurus North Node energy we are feeling. Also into the moon. You know, it does focus on elements of love and relationship. This card says embracing sensuality doesn't necessarily mean you're a middle-aged swinger. It simply means you're savoring one of the coolest aspects of being alive. Sensory input. It's time to get decadent. Reward yourself with gifts for the senses. You could drop a wad of cash on champagne and chocolate. Or you could tune in and enjoy the incredible gifts around you. The taste of an orange, the sounds of the forest, the texture of corduroy. I don't know your life. The point is it's time to savor whatever your senses can grab hold of, even if that means you're being sensual. <laughs> Here's the card again. I'm strongly getting, it's time to sensualize. Is that even a word? <laughs> Bring more sensuality into your life. It doesn't have to mean sexual in that way, but it can if you're in a relationship or a relationship with yourself. And bringing in sensuality means really appreciating and being very mindful of everything that you do and feeling it, really feeling it. Taps, I'm totally getting Taurus energy here. Venus energy, love energy. For the next card, which is from the Archangel Oracle, I got Seraphim, Ser Seraphiel. Tune in to the divine will, open to higher illumination. Do you see the rainbow of colors? We see green, pink. I'm immediately also getting Archangel um, Raphael and Shemuel for the heart chakra and just a rainbow of colors. A lot of us are experiencing a whole crap load of emotions right now. So it's time to engage our senses. It kind of, I'm really feeling it goes in well with the sensuality card. And for the last two on Divine Abundance, we got flow. Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. Totally taps into the throat chakra. If any of you are having trouble speaking or expressing your feelings, especially in partnerships or in relation to others, 
it's coming. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost out of Pisces season and energy. Full moon's coming for release. And we also got inner child. Allow me to give compassion and love to the little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. So with this reading today, I am getting completely that it's all about the self. Nurture yourself, centralize your daily routines and what you do. Really tap into the inner child and give yourself that love you need and let go. It's okay to release. This is very complimentary to one another. And I could go on about it, but when we tap into our inner child, a lot of emotions can come up. Friday, you know, today is the full moon. Um, it probably has passed for many of you, but you can tap into the energies before and after and see what happens, see what comes up. Make sure to, and if you're starting your self-love journey, this may be difficult. You could just simply start by saying, I love you and see where it goes. But for today, going into this weekend, focus on centralizing your life a little bit more, really being mindful and enjoying all those little pleasures that you bring. And tuning into things beyond you and knowing that when you nurture your inner self, your inner child, your little one, that that love will will and is greater than anything else that you could have imagined. I hope this resonated with someone. And if you feel called to, like, subscribe, and share. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Bye.